Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my first of two videos from Trader Jack's Flea Market. So, Trader Jack's Flea Market is located in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. There's the address. And they are open Saturdays and Sundays. So we're talking 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., though I'll be honest with you. Um, when I got there, on the second day on Sunday at 7 a.m. a lot of the vendors weren't ready so just throwing it out there but anyway so there you go this is Trader Jack's flea market wanted to go ahead and uh, show you what I picked up on Saturday that's this video and then I'll show you what I got on Sunday that'll be another video this was done in June so um, I'm going to show you the order with which I got stuff here on Saturday so the first thing I did, I've hit this vendor before. I know he has a bunch of cards, and they're mostly dollar cards, but they're also ones that are marked if they're more than a dollar. I bought $42 worth of cards for 40 bucks. 23 singles and a mini set. So most of these are not TTM purposes. They are PC. I do not have Patrick Mahomes cards. Well, I end up getting four of them. There's three of them right there. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. on 90 Bowman. There's a uh, 1980s type of Babe Ruth card. Just looked really nice, actually. Had a classic look to it. There's a Dale Murphy card, a unique little uh, glossy Topps Archives reserve card. Heard Jimmy Garoppolo was TTMing, so I figured, well, I'll pick one up since I see it. Him and his college days there. Got an Austin Meadows. Don't have that one. Picked up some Mike Trouts. Top's Finest, Top's Gallery, Bowman's Best. Just some really nice looking cards of Mike Trout. Got a Gavin Biggio, Top's Chrome um, rookie. Got a Gavin Lux rookie. And uh, I don't know who this is, but, you know, I do this quite frequently and it rarely ever happens, but I looked at the jersey number, I looked at the numbering on the card, I'm like, oh, his jersey number in the card number. Number 53 out of 249, and he has jersey number 53. Keep it. And I got Jacob deGrom Tops Heritage. It's that canvassy type of, uh, yeah. So those were all dollar cards. These were two dollar cards. There's another Patrick Mahomes. Gavin Lux insert rookie from Tops Chrome. There's a insert Tops Chrome of Kyle Lewis rookie. And there's a rook, um, I think this is a pre-rookie possibly, Bowman Chrome of Vlad Guerrero Jr. So those are $2 cards. And then we got some $3 cards here. Bo Bichette. Got that rookie. And then this was the one that I was really excited about. So, you know, it's a pre-rookie card of Ron Acuna. With the Florida Fire Frogs. And it's a limited edition. Limited, uh, only 2,000 made. Yeah, that's just a really cool uh, card from a minor league set. And then I picked up two $4 cards. Got a real pretty looking Beau Bichette. Tops rookie. And we got, you know, a um, Vlad Guerrero Tops Chrome. Looks to be an insert of some kind. Rookie. And I picked up this Hardee's Coca-Cola set. 24 cards. And all this would have come to $42, but we end up at $40. Bucks. So just real cool. A lot of star players here. Roger Clemens, Sandy Alomar Jr., Rafael Palmeira, who does TTM, Roberto Alomar. Kelly Gruber has been signing, Ozzie Guillen. Don't know about Devin White. Uh, Dave Henderson is no longer around. Robin Yant, Chili Davis, Chuck Knobloch, Paul Molitor. Really cool-looking cards here. Not much. Well, he was signing for a little bit way back in the day. I don't know if he still does or not. Air's cool. Andy Vance like. Oh, he'll sign for free. So, and he'll sign. So that's cool. I mean, I might end up sending about maybe five of those when it's all said and done to get signed. But really neat little set there from 1992. So truthfully, I might just send out ones for TTM and just hold on to the rest for PC purposes. So that's pretty cool little pickup there. That was all 40 bucks. Now the next one I bought 14 singles, all vintage. Would have cost 37.75, end up paying 30 bucks. I mean, I bought a lot of stuff here. So we got a Bill Lee. Got a Gary Peters with the cup card there. Yeah, I just got him back not too long ago. I, I should have picked up a second one. Shame on me. I think this was the only one I got. Uh-huh. Good stuff. I know I already have that card, but why not? It's a nice looking card. It actually looks pretty good. 
Yeah, I don't ever think I sent that Luke Walker card out before, but I'm still waiting. He's hit a little bit of a dry spell. Maybe he stopped signing. But yeah, I got some good TTM fuel. All TTM fuel. But I think it's all TTM. I never knew Bob Johnson played for the Royals. That is so cool. That will be sent out to him. That's a great-looking Campanaris card. There we go. There's a Cy Young. That's going to Vern Law. They just repopped these not too long ago. Well, that's going to Vern Law. And then we had this one. It was already signed by Bob Friend. This was the nicest card. I kind of went in order of, like, least expensive to the most expensive. But, you know, it was only $30 when it was all said and done. So, worth it. All right. This is where you're going to get the most exciting purchase. At least my most exciting purchase. So, there was a younger person there. Done a lot of in-person graphing. A lot of Pirate Fest signings. The type of stuff I'm into. And he was selling stuff off. And, you know, it's like the more of these 4x6, team issued 4x6s I bought, the better deal I got. And I got 17 of these 4x6s and a 5x7 that's in the frame for $80. I spent money, no doubt. But this is what I want. Like, I don't think I had any John Holtzcum. And it just gets better. Like, I picked up all three that he had. He might have had a fourth when I left one there. But he had a very good brief Memorable run at the Pirates. His palm ball. That worked out really well. I liked Jared Hughes. I really liked him. He was a very solid player for a very long time. Had one embarrassing moment. And he ended up being the, you know, on the internet for a bit there. And people like John Boy in his early days, you know, showing that he really didn't know much about baseball players at the time. Knocking on the guy. Acting like he never heard of him. Anyway, anyway, anyway. He had a very good career. Very good career. Always liked Jeff Locke. Always liked him. Jordy Mercer. I cannot. I, you can ask Papa Cards. I always liked Jordy Mercer. We got Charlie Morton. Yeah. And then I had no. None of these stole me Pimentel, so I picked up some of his. Got a Rob Scahill. I think I had one of those already. I think I already had the Chris Stewart, but I enjoyed Chris Stewart. The backup catcher position. Yeah. I mean, seriously, I was paying two bucks for these, essentially. So he quoted me, like, he said two bucks for each of these. Well, I picked out 15 of these plus these two here, which were in theory in, um, you know, these top loaders. Those are $5 each. So I figured, well, let me, in my mind, I was thinking about 30 bucks for all of it then, since I was getting so many off them. I got the tie on and the Neil Walker. Now, the one behind it here is what drove the price up for sure. So in my mind, I end up quoting 90 bucks total. Oh, no, no, he quoted 90 bucks, but I got to 80, which was the number that I had in my mind. So we started at 90 and up at 80, so it was very good. And it's a 5x7 with the MVP inscription. It's the Man Crush. Yeah, I was willing to pay $50 for this. Well, I guess you could technically say 40 bucks. 40 bucks but uh so i kind of ended up doing 30 on that and 50 on that whatever it was 80 bucks and uh this frame will be gone i did take out of the frame after i bought it to make sure it looked like it was in good condition it was and it's got that amazing inscription that's his medium autograph that's a shorthand autograph but it's not super shorthand that's a medium autograph from him with the inscription oh yes i added Sign the cushion piece. Spoiler alert! Check out my video tomorrow, or uh, my the, the following video that you'll see. Not tomorrow. I upload on TTM videos on Mondays, and then I upload autograph and trading card videos like this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So the next video you're going to see a little more of the man crush. I paid three dollars total for these. I bought this for two bucks. And he's like, you know, I have. So many of these little sets. Any little set you want for a dollar more. So I got this one. Got some TTM fuel there, and I'm not even sure about that. But we'll find out. So there was a $3 purchase. I had not been to Trader Jack's all season. So I had to... I mean, I mentally prepared to buy a lot. So I did. So this could have cost $45 total. And she quoted me at 30 which was better than what I was expecting. I was expecting 40 But she said she wanted to give me a real good deal. She did herself. I have eight signed 8x10s. 
I got Jeff Reed. Chris Dardocky does sign through the mail. Think about doing that for both of them, really. But I've got two Jeff Reeds. And these all had their COAs. They were all signed in their store back when they had a store at the Robinson Mall about 15 years ago. We got Marvell Smith. We got Deshae Townsend. We got Walt Harris. I have no Walt Harris autographs. We got Dave Justy with a real classic looking pose there. Really cool. And there's a picture of him batting. That's really cool. <laughs> Doing like, uh, you know, well after his playing years. And then we had this one. Jeff Zakoff, who was a backup goaltender. And when they won the Stanley Cup again, I mean, he really was the star of Game 1. And he even wrote Mr. Game 1. This was Total Sports Enterprises right here. That was from TSE. So, uh, good stuff. That's a really good value for 30 bucks. And then last, I'm going to do this real quick. 83 10 cent cards. So, as I flip through these, mostly PC and TTM. I mean, that, you know, it was PC, TTM, you know. Uh, 83 eight, 10 cent cards paid 8 bucks. So, I uh, want to just go ahead and show you kind of quickly what I got here. That's cool. But uh, keep in mind, I do upload a TTM video, you know, TTM purposes here, TTM video on Mondays, and then I upload autograph or trading card videos such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I always appreciate the people who've been checking out my videos that I've been uploading. Surely but surely, it's like, surely and slowly, I just kind of get more, oh, great, 10 cents of each of these, these newer ones, the repops. So, um... It's pretty cool how many people have been checking out my videos, and I really appreciate all those who have been subscribing. So I would appreciate it if you let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. And uh, look, Jay Bruce rookie, that's cool to me. Matt Cain might be his rookie, I don't know. But yeah, I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I got some DeGrom cards. Mm -hmm. Chase Headley. Oh, that would look nice with some ink on it. And I've never sent him, believe it or not. He does sign. Got lots of Austin Kern rookie cards and pre-rookie cards. Mike Leak, I had a lot of respect for him. He was a pitcher who took pride in his at-bats. I got I got about 10 seconds. The camera's going to cut out on me. So this is the end of it, everybody. Thank you again, and we will see you later.